my time in Phoenix nearly at an end, I was making one last visit to see Glenn and Celinda. There were plans afoot for Glenn to get more support at home. We had a uh, friend call us and said that uh, she'd be glad to move out here to Phoenix and, and for room and board be Celinda's companion. It's yeah. not going to start this early, honey. Well, we're almost to the point, so I don't we'll think talk so. about it. We'll talk That's about right. it and see. Yeah. It's, Do you know this person that Glenn has in mind? Yes, a but friend? I'm not sure that that would be the one, because I'm not going to have anybody else's dogs over here, that's for sure. Well, that's sometimes you have to put up. It is pretty much of a godsend, though. Yeah, but still. You think it may not be the right person, Celinda? I, you know, I just want to be independent, and Glenn doesn't want me to be anymore. Well, it's, I want you two to also to be independent. Because you love me so much. Mm, I know, darling. But the fact is, and the truth is, that you yes, probably I know. aren't able to. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. In some ways, it might be that she knows what's coming, and she's trying to fight off those things, those those different uh, steps where she's she sees she's losing her independence. They say at the beginning, in some ways, it's hardest because you're you're still fighting it in a way, if that makes sense. And then the, there comes a point when it just becomes a new normal. At that point. They're in their mind for all I can think, everything's fine. Mm. But then it switches over to the caregiver and any of the family. What's it gonna be like when you look at the person you've been with for so many years and they don't remember you? What is your obligation to someone as they change in that way? I've gotta think about Callie and myself. We've, we've gotta go on. I've read about people that have had Alzheimer's and they live 20, 30 years. And that's you know a question, if she lives that long, financially at the, at the cost of a nursing home. So I've thought about, you know, do I have to, down the road, do I have to, you know, go into the courts and get a divorce from Celinda? You know, and make her a ward of the state, so I don't know. You know, that's something I need to talk to an elder attorney and say, what do I do? What have other people done? That's the point. But this time of year it's cheaper, right? Mm -hmm. I have to say yes. All families affected by dementia are faced with incredibly hard choices. But Glenn and Celinda were in the impossible position of battling the disease whilst also trying to raise a child. I just want to hope that I can be around to see Callie, you know, grow up. That's what bothers me. But she's a pretty good girl. I mean, she, if she has to, she can make it happen, you know, so that's a good thing, I think. And there's still plenty of time. Oh, yeah. I'm counting on that. 